In Google Slides, it's possible to use shapes and lines to create diagrams from scratch, but you can also quickly and easily insert pre-made ones. There are a lot of presets to choose from, and they can be used to display all kinds of information. To get started, go to Insert, then Diagram. A new pane opens with several different types of diagrams to choose from. In this example, I want to create an organizational chart, so hierarchy will work best. At the top, you can change the number of levels in the diagram, and you can change the color. For this example, we'll start with the default settings. To insert a diagram, just click on it, and it will be added to the slide. Now let's make some changes so that the diagram better matches the rest of the presentation. You can close the diagram's pane to give yourself more room to work. To edit different parts of the diagram, you first have to select them, and this is not always as easy as it sounds. To select the whole diagram, click an empty spot on the slide and drag a box around all of the elements in the diagram. You can now move the whole diagram at the same time by clicking and dragging one of the elements. You can also change the color. The red is hard to see, so let's choose something else. With everything still selected, go to Border Color and choose the color that you want. This changes the color of the borders and of the lines connecting the boxes, but not of the text. To be able to change the text color, you need to only select the text boxes and not any of the other lines. To do that, deselect everything by clicking in an empty spot on the slide, then reselect just the text boxes by holding down Shift as you click each one. Holding the Shift key and clicking each item individually makes it easier to only select exactly what you want. With just the text boxes selected, you can now click Text Color and choose the color that you want. I'll choose white again. There, this is starting to look pretty good. Now let's edit the actual content. To edit a text box, make sure that nothing is selected, then click the text that you want to edit. The insertion point appears, and you can make your edits. When you're done, click an empty area to deselect the text box. OK, I've updated all the names in the diagram, but I need to make a structural change. Jim Franks should actually be underneath Luis Ramirez. Making this change is going to be a little tricky, so you might want to follow my steps exactly until you get some practice at it. To move a box, click and drag it to where you want it. Then click on the line to select it. Handles appear at either end, and you can click and drag the handle that you want to move. As you move over a box, anchor points appear for you to drop the handle onto. There, these boxes are now connected. If you want to add another box, the easiest way is to select a box and its connecting line. Right click and choose Copy, then right click again and choose Paste. Click and drag to move the new box. Then hold Shift and click the box so that just the line remains selected. Now you can connect the floating handle to an anchor point on a box. Once everything is connected, you can reposition the elements as needed. As with most skills, learning to edit diagrams can be frustrating, but with some practice, you'll be able to create diagrams that look great and communicate what they're supposed to. GCF Global creating opportunities for a better life.